Now I see places and faces and things you ain't never thought about. Okay, I'm sitting here with Skip McLaughlin, and we're talking about what it was like to be a judge at Startapalooza. Was it different than anything you've ever done? Was it weird? Go ahead and just tell me how it felt and how the people responded to how, what you said. Startapalooza was um, very different when I walked into the room and saw the number of entrepreneurs. I believe there had to be somewhere close to 30 different ventures in probably somewhere on the order of five or six thousand square feet and there were probably two or three people in attendance for each one of the 30 entrepreneurs so it was a crowded space but it was an exciting space and there was a lot of passion emotion enthusiasm you couldn't help but feel a tremendous sense of responsibility to give full consideration and attention to each one of the different ventures what's exciting is a lot of the ventures were breakthrough ideas if they had the right funding and the right marketing plan if they made the right connections you could see them being tremendously successful was there any that stood out to you do you remember any names we we ranked all the participants at the end and uh, we shortlisted it down to the top three. And frankly, I can't remember the name of one of the ventures, but there was a retail venture that had a recurring buying strategy. Mm. I wish I could remember the name, but they were the ones that I ranked uh, to be the award winner for the evening. And what kind of questions did they ask you or did you ask them when you, were, when you went around the room? The way things were set up, you had a, a scorecard. Uh, you were expected to interview all 30 startups within probably about an hour and 15 minutes. So you can imagine we were operating at a very frenetic pace. And the basic questions we went after is, you know, what's the size of your addressable market? How do you make money? How much capital do you have? How much capital do you need? Who's your ideal customer? Do you have real customers? And what is truly unique about your product? And do you have folks that you're competing with in your particular market area? Do you think it was worthwhile, that sort of setup? I've never been to anything like that either. I think it was worthwhile, uh, for sure. It would be better if life could be more orderly for startups. I empathize with startups because they, here they are putting their heart and soul into their venture for anywhere between six months and six years, and they go in and present cattle call-like environment. It seems unfair, but thank goodness for Startup Palooza because what other venues would they have? Exactly. So my hat's off to the folks that run Startup Palooza. Now I see places and faces, things you ain't never thought about.